Good morning LC people. As you know, I picked up this engine yesterday. The guy rang me. He'd had an eat and seize. I went to his house. Yeah, it was uh, turning over, but obviously it's not in a great state. There's bits of debris in here. It's basically out of this. Yeah. It turns, but not very good. You just can't see any pins in it anymore. It's just disintegrated in there. The other side seems fine. It's uh, nice and happy. And funny enough, the main bearings of the labyrinth seal, they all turn lovely. They feel nice. There's no play in them. The quick one can only assume is that um, it's obviously struggled with oil. It's not had enough oil, has it? Or something's happened with the pump. That needs investigation. Um, but yeah, the crank's ready to go. As you know, the barrels are off. They're ready to go. I've just got to take the inlet rubbers off of them. This bit, funny enough, fell out and it's out of one of the cages i don't know which side it was now it's this side which is obviously uh the drive side where it goes on the clutch that side but yeah that's where we're at can't tell you anymore at the minute tomorrow i should be having a a full restoration bike come so i'm going to pack all this stuff up pack the stuff up for grampians and yeah i think that'll do for dilly dilly dave for today but uh, not very uh, long to take these engines apart, as you know. Especially if you've got a little windy gun down there. Great for taking things to bits quick. You know, the difficult nuts to undo on the end of the clutch, on the end of the crank, the flywheel, the engine nuts, the bolts on the top. It's zip, zip, zip. And uh, yeah, we're there. It come apart quite nicely. I don't think much to the sealant. It's obviously been to bits before, but yeah. Don't seem to see a lot on it, but it was running and riding all right up until the moment it decided I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> anyway, folks, I'll keep you posted about Dave's adventures. Thanks for watching. Dilly dilly.